right, everybody, what is going on? It is your boy, XXX here. And I tried a Roblox, Roblox roleplay video. I guess some of you didn't like it and didn't like the roleplay Roblox video. So, I am at least going to make one more video, guys. And if you guys still don't like it, and still say it's like that I shouldn't do Roblox then I'll stop guys cuz I only want to do what you guys would most likely want to see that I would know how to do be easy to do all that cool stuff but yeah today I am back with another Sky Island uh, episode uh, Skyland episode to show you guys what I've been up to today I was just bored and decided why not make a cactus farm I'm making a whole new one guys for the profit shop only and I've got it to where like it'll even everything out type way mainly this chest fills up first but the rest don't fill up as much cuz it hits this chest first and goes to either one. But mainly, since it's being the first slot, it'll go to that one. And then that one just leads straight down to that one and goes there. In fact, actually, let me just, uh, aha. I'll just place that there, and place that there, there we go. Now that one should start getting some cactus as well. There we are. That's much better. <clears throat> and, yeah, I've been getting a lot of money, as you can see, right over here. Just from the sugar cane profit, and the new iron profit that I added, guys. That's right, I have an iron profit shop now. Doesn't fill up as quickly, but like, yeah, fillies. <laughs> yeah, over here is the iron golem spawners. There's one, as you can see, and there's two. There's two so far. They spawn at least a good, decent amount. What I want to try and do is maybe get some more that I can, like, add, make a zigzag type of way. And, yeah. And, of course, I'll be making this bigger. That way it's, like, spawning a crap ton of cactuses for me. And one thing I have also noticed, guys, every time I've been to someone's cactus profit, every time I've seen this, and I'm not making the same mistake. But people with fly going to people's islands where they have like a cactus profit shop type way. They always have an open roof. Where people can just go. Oh look, free cactus. So yeah. That's one thing I'm doing. I'm going to cover it all up. And make it so that they can't get to it you know that's what I'm thinking of doing and today's hashtag today will be hashtag cactus <whistles> yeah boys hashtag cactus down below in the comments you know where to put it I'm sure you do <clears throat> but yeah a uh, good old, old uh, cow spawner spawns slowly, and here's the first cactus prophet, guys. I heard my wither. <laughs> yes, yes, wither, I'm here. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, I'll make sure to bring you some skeletons. <laughs> some skeletons to munch on. Munch. munch. Let's clear out my. Sugar game profit. Hello. I really hated that they broke, right? Like, get this, guys. 
I asked, like, kinda, in a way, asked them why the redstone was broken and that they wouldn't fix it. Well, here was the admin's answer. We broke the redstone on purpose. Because it caused too much lag. Well, that's probably because the server stuff you're having is crap. Like, before, before, on old Kirby and Sonic, before they broke the redstone, everything worked fine. There would be no lag. Like, oh my gosh. Big babies. And, what's worse, basically on purposely broke a lot of stuff on here. Because it caused so much lag and it's like are you stupid because whenever I was on they the lag wouldn't do it nope it would be more of like the spawners where people would have a hundred villagers in their thing dropping all at once or a hundred iron golems. That's doing it. I would know for sure. It's not the redstone, you idiots. It's the spawners. But you gotta love the staff people on the server. Like, also get this. They made scamming allowed on here. Because their little block updater thing that tells... When, like, someone removes a block or anything like that. It would crash one of their worlds. It would crash Sonic, guys. Legit. Like, I am legit saying what the admin said. And he said, yeah, we removed it and made scamming loud. Well, guys... Let's just say, to be honest, you should have made, they should have made scamming allowed, period. Like, if people have the proof, have the solid proof right there, then you should ban them. Because legit, oh, let me tell you this story, guys. Legit, a guy named Vagile, before he was banned, he wasn't banned because of scamming, guys. He was banned because of something else. But he legit scammed a staff person on here. Legit. Took 66 villagers from him. And they're saying scamming is allowed. Like, legit scammed... And even Vagal said, yeah, I did it, so what? Scammed a staff person. Even confessed up to it. So, plus it's like they really even used their block updater before. To figure out who took what. Because, legit guys, when I first started Sonic, all my spawners got stolen. And they said... Oh, yeah, we can't help you with that. We can't do anything about that. I said, I'm sure something tells you where, like, blocks were placed or picked up or any of that. And who mined them? They were all like, so you want us to go looking through all those logs like you know how to do everything and da-da-da-da-da. Like, please, do it. I even told you what people were on my island were coped on my island and I'm sure there's something that could even say which one of them warped to it like I bet you they would have something that would tell them who warped where but they removed it because it would make Sonic crash and made scamming loud. And when that happened, 
What do you think everybody started doing on purpose? Scamming. So, if you're new to my channel and you're trying to find a good server for Skyblock, I'd not recommend this one. I'd recommend Quake PvP because the staff team on this world, the staff team is full of little kids. Legit. Every staff member, except for one person that I know name, Factions Eagle, he's nice, but everyone else is a little bitty kid. And CJK Turtle, he's nice too, guys. But, like, the admin that told me all this, his name is Human. Oh, boy. Human. He legit told me all that. Word for word. So, yeah, guys. I'd recommend Quake PvP. Okay, guys? That's the server I'm helping with, yes. But at least our redstone ain't broken. At least our block log, like, tells us who broke what. And it's working right. And won't crash one of our worlds. Won't crash anything. Uh, player vault 2. Wait, player vault 1. And we're like, we are way better than Arcade Wars so far. We have crates working. We have ranks working. All that stuff, guys. Very true. But yeah, one of the things that still gets on my nerves is that the staff team on here, they accept almost anyone, and when they don't, they, like, legit, my friend tried applying for staff once, he had, like, at least a paragraph full of information for them. And you want to know what they said? Every single one agreed with one guy saying not enough detail. Even though it was a big old paragraph. Like from say here to here. Filled with words saying what he did and what he could do and all that stuff. And not enough effort. <clears throat> and... Oh my gosh. And they needed proof of him being an admin on Quake PvP. I'm talking about, hey dude, y'all. He tried applying for staff again, and they're all like, no, we'd, we'll need proof that you're an admin on that server. And, trust me, one time he actually, he said, oh my gosh. He said something, and they said they needed proof, and he replied with the proof, and they said, Oh, how immature. You're replying back to this. It shows how mature you are. And I even sat there and saw it, and I'm just like, How immature of you acting like an idiot? Like, legit, guys, the staff team on here is full of little kids. And trust me, when when I was trying to give my villagers back, a little kid basically replied. He may have been a mod, but I wanted an actual admin and someone that actually knew the stuff more than he did and knew as much as I did. Because legit, I was so far done with it. He, he's... The mod was the one that even closed it when I wanted my villagers back. And this was before Sonic Reset, guys. I've been holding on to this story for a long time. The mod, like, <sighs> he was the only one that replied to it, saying he would need proof. And I replied with, go look at my island. Look at where my spawners were. Use your block log. To see who mined what. And these were the people that warped to my island last. Because 
My island legit got grief. Blocks were everywhere. Stuff was stolen. And it's just like, seriously, you're stupid. You didn't even investigate at it at all. And the mod was saying, like, even after the me saying that he didn't investigate it was like way later. And he's saying, you don't need to tell me how to do my job. I know how to do my job. And I said, then why don't you do it? Investigate in it. Look into it instead of just sitting on your bum with your thumb up your butt. Like, <laughs> do your job. And I think he's retired after a long time. And he said, I don't have to deal with this, uh, what was it? Disrespect from you. And I legit lost it right there. And I said, disrespect? Says a person that's not doing their job that basically closed my thing before anyone else really even saw it. And it's saying for me to supply proof, even though I've supplied just enough. Because, I mean, seriously, I wasn't on when this happened. But I've got picture proof of the people who were on my island last. I don't know how to send the images, but I told you guys the names. Like, are you stupid? And trust me, nothing has changed, guys. Like, one thing that I even asked before, they're more worried about, like, crap like patching up, making it so that you can't sell hoppers, and it costs a crap ton of money to buy them, and you can't craft hoppers anymore. Which, guys, I even brought this up with the owner and whatnot and said, Hey, owner, why not, like, make the hoppers craftable now since they can't be sold anymore? Because it costs a crap ton of money just to buy one hopper on here. 20k! And yet you can't even sell them. So, what's the good in having it not be craftable? You know? And they were just going all like, Oh, we're not going to make them craftable. Just because they're not sellable, like, what good will that do if they're craftable? Uh, make it so that we don't have to spend a crap ton of money just for one hopper. Like, think. Use your brain. And if you guys saw my video... You could see how stupid the owner was as well. You could even see how, like, he's immature. He, all of them are immature. <sighs> my gosh, guys. The... It's just stupid. Like, you can't do Give Fly on Kirby still. And it's been months upon months now, guys. And yet they still haven't fixed it. They haven't... They don't want to fix Redstone. They aren't really even doing anything. Legit, guys. And plus, they still have that flippin' automatic restart thing that happens on here. That thing was for when it would wo when the block log thing log thing worked. And yet, they still have that on here. And they haven't even fixed goodwill crates or any of that. G kits. On Kirby. None of that. So I'm gonna just say this. Oh, no. I will just say this, guys. Legit. I'm whale server. Is way better. Than Arcade Wars. 
Because we have stuff actually working on there. It's not online right now because, like, they're doing a massive... Something massive on it. Here, let me see here. I have the thing on my phone, guys. <laughs> Announcement. They're going to be doing some high work on it. And the server will be up in about three weeks, guys. Basically one month. But yeah, they're going to like do some high work on it. Make it way more better. But we have a lot of things working on it, guys. Skyblock works. You can use redstone on it and all that. Factions works. I don't think we've added kits yet. But if we did... I'm pretty sure those work. We did add crates, and they work 100%. Basically, everything works. Just like you being able to claim land for your faction. That works. And when you get a certain rank, you get slash fly. That works. Almost every, basically everything on our server works. Everything. So yeah. Sorry I had to make today's episode be like that. I've had to deal with stupid people all day today. Just got home from my job, guys. That's why I'm a little PO'd. Or if for you younger kids... Don't repeat PO'd. Just repeat ticked off. Okay, kids. Like, that's how ticked off I am. <sighs> like, every time I look at this world and see all the stupid crap in it. That's all this world is full of. People doing stupid crap to you, in front of you, a lot. Sometimes they just wonder, why can't this world just be perfect? You know? Like... Like, seriously guys? It's like the Sky Island. What all do you see on the Sky Island? You see good stuff, right? But what I see is it being crowded. But it would still be a world I'd want to be in. I'd rather be in this than in a new island, guys. I'd rather be in this type of world than, like, without all these people and whatnot. But, like, no offense to them. They're fine. But it would be cool just to be in a world where it just had no wrong. The only way the wrong could happen is if someone makes it. Like, I can make something bad on here, and then that will make the world wrong. That's where it would start. Like how a lot of people are. One wrong thing happens, a bunch of people make it and keep on doing it, and make it more and more wrong. Like, I'll just look at the world, guys. When you turn on the news, guys, what is everything you always see more on the news than anything else? If you guys don't see anything, that's good for you, but like, I'll tell you what I see. Corruption. 
death, evil, everywhere. All I see, guys, is crime. Death, kills, murders, all that stuff, guys. That's all I see. What I'd love to see instead on the news like, I legit will even look, look on the news sometimes. Because I'll watch the news at my work because that's what's usually on. But every time I always see bad news. The Justice Channel. Every time. Bad news. Telling about how people almost died. Because of either someone or something. But I just don't know why. This rotten world can just at least show some good news sometime. Because there is rarely ever good news. And it's only going to get worse, guys. I'm telling you that right now. The evil you see now, guys, and I'm even saying the truth on this. And if you hate me for saying all this, I understand. But what I'm going to say is this. This is only the beginning of the evil in this world. And it's only gonna get worse. Sorry I had to break it to you guys. Guys, I know one thing. Me dealing with stupid people today at work. Like, I know how you guys can probably get fed up by seeing stupid people at a job or at school who just act like idiots to you or bully you or whatnot. Or even on Minecraft. Anywhere. Where you see stupid people, mean people, all that stuff. But all you gotta do, all you should do, that I do every day, is just show them love back. Like at my job, if a stupid person comes in and acts all stupid to me or whatnot, and I see that and I'm all like, I just, I haven't done anything wrong. Please just leave me alone. Or, get out of my face, stop doing this, you idiot. Stuff like that. Then, all I can do, and should do, when they're walking out, every time, I always say, have a great day. And, be nice to them. That's all I can do, guys. And that's all I should do. Because it's not right to fight back or to hurt them just to make you feel good. Because all that's going to do, guys, this is the truth that I've learned many times over. All that's going to do when you win a fight or something, or feel like you want to fight against someone, an argument, then it's all going to go to your head and leave a good old size hole that you can never fill up. That you'll want to keep on filling up, guys. 
So yeah. That's just what I wanted to say guys. Just Just I don't even know anymore. But anyways, back to the Sky Island. I don't want to sound like too much of a downer or anything. I still I like to stay positive, to be honest. That's the one thing I try and do a lot. You can guess how hard it is for me. But anyways, hello there, George. Yeah, I named him George. Don't mess with me, people. I want to get one more pumpkin. And play Vault 1. Get a sword. Whee! Yay, a pu pumpkin. What? Aw, oh, man! I got too many pumpkins. There. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blaze spawner with her skeleton. Wait on him. Wait for it. 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 Ah! <laughs> Weather skeleton. Boom. Boom. What the? Oh yeah, weather skeletons don't catch on fire. Oh well. Die! Oh, I'm Mr. Blaze. Hey, someone took off my thing. How they did it, I do not know. Probably remove it. Uh, play ball one. Get my awesome pickaxe. Um, a lava bucket. Give me a lava bucket. Even after it does it, it's still having lag. What the heck? Find that slash trash. Get rid of it that way. Get me a wither skeleton. Punch and two thousand. Here we are. <laughs> On those. Do, 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 do. Let's check this. Not bad. Not bad. Nice. Nice. Nice, mate. Yeah, you still have those. Yeah, whatever. Check this. Check this. Check these. Oh yeah, these days, I just don't care anymore. I'll leave the, like, arrows and basically whatever mob drops in there, guys. And if I get a cell wand, I just click on the chest and sell it. <laughs> but yeah, um, what else should I show? Oh, look up there, everybody, look up there.
Make sure to do that, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to yawn. Yawn. Just go floating around. So that's what happened to that sword. Nice! Doggies. Oh yeah, they changed the mob drops on the dog. Now it drops raw beef and bones. Yeah, stupid, I know, right? We're on actual good stuff now. Stupid staff. They say they can't do anything even though they're admins. Although I highly doubt that. Highly, 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 highly doubt that. I'm sure they could do something. Maybe check plugins like I do. Or... Do some stuff with the plugins. Help the mods. Give them a little shove and tell them, hey, do this today, please, or whenever you can. Or say, hey, can you do this today, type thing, you know. But yeah, I'm not doing too bad on that. That's actually good. Let's see here, what's it at? Flux pickaxe, smelting ore, car smelting level 250 plus. Your mom. Wither skeletons. Guys, woohoo! Happy, 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 happy. Hashtag happy. Just kidding. Today's hashtag is hashtag cactus. Don't forget it. Yeah, what the? Whatever. <laughs> Don't forget to do hashtag happy, guys. Or I will find you. And I will kill you. <laughs> oh, that's right. All the way around. Player ball one. Get my silk touch pickaxe. Uh, place it right here. Yeah, boys. Ought to be doing it a little bit more faster now. Lol. <laughs> So there we'll go one. See, there's one. I'm glad I added the cobwebs as well, because those will do good for sure. See, there's two now. And then that one will do number three. Unless he drops a little bit early. <laughs> then it ain't gonna be number three. Sadness. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I don't feel sadness. Cause I'm Batman. I 
Burn, burn, burn. <laughs> drop before er, it can get that come on it better get some more get some more get some more yeah woohoo <laughs> and landed that didn't mean to but like whatever <laughs> I just also added that like pumpkin head right there cause why not, guys? <laughs> but yeah, I guess that'll be it for today's video, guys. Hope you have a great day. I know I did, so far. I'm just kidding, I had a horrible day dealing with stupid people, as you've heard. <laughs> but enough of that, guys. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit this like button on this video, guys. And comment, hashtag cactus. You know, hashtag cactus. Right? Cactus? No, wait. Cactus. Hashtag cactus, right? Pretty sure. Let me go see here. Do, 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 do. So fast walking back. Hashtag cactus, guys. Oh, someone purchased a uh, Wither Skeleton Skull for a true K. Nice. But yeah. And make sure to also hit that bell. Like, I've been trying to try and give Bill. Bell. I've been trying to get a bell so that I can show you guys. How to hit the bell right. <laughs> just kidding. I just been wanting it to like add into the video. <laughs> but yeah, anyways guys, hit that bell. And if you're not new to the channel, still, if you haven't hit that bell, you better freaking hit that bell, dude. Or I will find you. And I will kill you. And if you haven't hit that like button either... My peeps, hit that like button, guys. And add me on my social media, mainly on Discord, so I can add you guys to my Discord fan base. Woo! I know you guys want to be in my Discord fan base to get a good chance, very good chance, to talk to yours truly. Yeah! And, yeah, that's where I'll also keep everyone updated as well when, like, the server comes back, when Quake PvP comes back out again, I will make sure to give you guys that update to know when to come on, guys. And, uh... Anything else? I wonder. Anything? Maybe? Maybe not? No? What do you have to say about this little chest? Do you have anything to say, little chest? Hit the subscribe button! Okay. And the like button, too! Okay, good. <laughs> but yeah. Anyways, guys. You're awesome! I'm awesome! Everybody's awesome! Don't let anyone tell you different! And I'll see you guys next time! In the next episode, if you guys don't want me to do Roblox anymore, then tell me. I can take it, guys, okay? Just don't be mean about it. Just say, we're good without you doing Roblox, Vanius XXX. Like, we don't want to see you do anymore, okay? Okay, good. Don't be, like, in the comments saying, dude, screw you and your Roblox and stuff like that and cursing and whatnot. That's not cool, guys. You start doing that, I will block you from my channel and everything. Because I'm trying to keep it child-friendly. Not that easy most of the time, because, like, I can't control what other people say in this chat or whatnot. And all that. But, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. 
in the next episode.